Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm over here at the horse barn near uh, near the RV park in Lano, Texas, off Highway 152. And I want you to know there are hundreds of people here in this RV park. I'll ask this girl, maybe she'll tell me. What, what is this event? Uh, barrel racing. Ah. Uh, pole bending. What, say again? Pole bending and barrel racing. Po pole bending? Mm -hmm. Pole bending? Pole bending is what, what it's called. <laughs> pole bending. <Yep. laughs> are you in it? Uh, I don't do the poles, but I do the barrels. <laughs> but that's a timed event, right? Yep, both of them. Okay, wh what's a good time on the on the barrels? Um, I think yesterday, uh, 15.0 on it. Um, it's pretty fast. <laughs> no kidding, no kidding. Well, they come from all over, don't they? Uh, yeah. This is all over the U.S., I guess, or Texas mainly, probably. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, it's a, a lot of people here. And, you know, this equipment that they come in is not cheap. No. You know, these RVs and the horse trailers yeah. and stuff, my God, you know, you got to have $100,000 just to get here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you know. And then the horses are expensive themselves. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. You got your own horse? I do. Kind of. Do you take care of it yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. What, y'all live on a ranch somewhere? Uh, we live in Del Rio. Del Rio. That's a pretty good little drive. Yep. Three and a half hours. Yep. Well, I'm good. So you're in it now, right? You're still in the race? Or yes, still? sir. Well, good luck. Thank I hope, you. I hope you get a good time. Thank you. And on we go. It's a little breezy out, so you might hear a little wind in the mic. But, uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, look at all these people, man. I mean, it's uh, pretty serious stuff going on here. I just happened to walk into it, and I wasn't prepared because I don't have my external mic. So again, you may hear some wind and you may not. And there's one of the horsies. Here's a girl up here going to the trash or going to feed her horse. I think she's going to feed her horse. <clears throat> Good morning. Morning. Always something, isn't it, guys? I just didn't have a video planned at all. And then I walk right into this. There's life going on all around us, man. You just have to get out and get into it. These people drove up from Del Rio. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, we'll get over here, kind of get out of the wind a little bit, maybe. Go down this here way and I'll talk to this other lady. Yo. <clears throat> Gotta watch out for that though. <laughs> Don't step in it, so to speak. Doodle doodle doo. Good morning. You in the barrel racing? Yes, sir. Are you really? You what's a good time? It depends on the pattern, I oh. guess. So they run different patterns and then... Well, no, it's all the same pattern, just different sizes. Ah. So there's a standard size pattern, which I believe this race has it. Okay. So it kind of just depends. Well, you have that hay in that bag. Is that so he can't eat it too fast? Basically, yeah. Just pulls it out slower. Did you braid that mane? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Can you see that, guys? I'm doing a video for YouTube. Do you mind? Yeah. Of your pretty horse. How old is your horse? Um, seven or eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway. Good luck to you in, you. in the event. And uh, enjoy your life one day at a time. Hi. So where y'all from? I'm from South Texas. South Texas. With a, I talked to a girl while ago. She's from Del Rio. So mm -hmm. apparently they come from all over. Whoa. Okay. We'll go down this way. Well, let me let me show you the campgrounds again. There's the campground right there. And on around we go. There's a good spot over here for us to kind of watch the uh, the races. 
you know, it's not a not an inexpensive hobby by any stretch of the imagination. Keeping a horse can be expensive. I'm into the wind now, but I'll be out of it in just a second. So just bear with me. We right up, see where that white truck is right past there. We'll go in that side and there's a way to uh, get out of the wind, number one. And then number two, it's a, there's a place to watch the the barrel races but see this equipment this this dually truck here that's 60,000 or more plus a trailer uh, you know come on it's uh, that's a but again it's it's like anything else it's a hobby uh, for most of these people I'm sure they put the hay in those bags so they can just get a little bit at a time the bags have little uh, netting in the front so the horse can't get too much at one time good morning <laughs> see what we got up here you know this is where I was the other day and uh, well they got, see you can go up the steps, but you can't go over that bar. But I can go up the steps and look and see what's going on, I think. I thought they might have a race. So this is the arena right here where they have the race, the barrel races. But it's a timed event. And uh, they're not having any right now. I heard some chatting going on. I thought I might get to see a race. But anyway, guys, from the barrel racing event here in Lano, Texas, this is Rusty78609. Here comes a horsey. Well, they may be having a race. They are having a race. That is one. So, yeah. Well, that's what they call the poles. You got to go in and out of the poles. And that's another timed event. Zoom just a little bit so you can see. It's not focusing very good, doesn't look like, but maybe it is. Yeah, they go in and out of those poles. And, uh, I don't know if this is a, I don't know how much, there, there's money involved in this too. You know, they, they win money. How much, I don't know. Let's see if we can watch one more. Are you for another horse. But here's the stadium over here. You can see it's a big crowd. Me and a, a few ghosts. But it's early in the morning. Right now it's only about 8.30 in the morning. But man, they got a lot of trucks and stuff. You can't see them out through there but there are a number of, of RVs that light kind of blanks it out over there but uh, here comes somebody Let's see if we're not going to get one more race here well, it's not really a race it's a again it's a timed event Apparently it's uh, pretty laid back. <laughs> you know, this is not the Indy 500, so to speak. I don't see anybody getting ready there. Oh, that's this lady over here. If I can get down this ladder, I can just climb up without falling on my head. <laughs> you like that picture there? That's a that's a new new angle. 
That's a new video angle. Oh, okay. Oh. Are you in the uh, polls? Huh? Are you in the poll race this morning? Yes. You are? Yes. What's a What's a good time to to uh, beat? Uh, uh, Twenty one. Yeah, this girl. Yeah, this girl just did thirty eight. Oh, okay, there's yeah, one. Yeah, she's. This is just expedition. Exhibition. This is practice. Oh, they're just warming up. Yes. The, oh, okay. Uh, the polls start at nine thirty. Oh, okay. So yeah, you. Yeah, a lot of these young ladies <coughs> that ride are, uh, you know, riding at the high school rodeos too. And so are they? Twenties and twenty ones are top time. Oh wow. Well, that's uh, that's record time, it's huh? Fast. Yeah, it is. That is. Well, where are you from? What part of Texas? Uh, Fredericksburg. All the way from Fredericksburg. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a beautiful saddle. Thank you. Yeah. You really take care of your animal, don't you? Yeah. How old is that? Hard. Mm -hmm. How old is he? He's yeah. Twenty. Twenty years old. Yeah. Still a going. Still a going. <laughs> yeah. You had him since he was a, a, a little one. Three years. How 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 old is an old horse? Well, they can get to be up thirties. Really? Uh huh. No kidding. Taking well, good, taking good care of and. Well, what is that on his right hoof there? That is a, a protector keeping from clipping his foot foot with his back. Ah. Uh, yep. I tried riding a horse many years ago. I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> guy told me he said all a horse wants to do is get get you get you off his back. No. Yeah, there's some like that. Yeah. But well, it depends on the rider too. Depends on the rider and yeah. what you have with your animal. Sure. And you've been around this animal for years. You've been around horses all your life? Yes, sir. I understand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Grew up on a ranch? Yes, sir. Well, I hear you. Near Carville? No. I grew up, my grandparents had a place between uh, Barksdale and Rock Springs. I know where that is, out there in the old, old rocky country, isn't it? Yep. They, yeah. He was a former rancher, and my granny was a school teacher till 1972 there at Camp Wood. Really? Yep. Not much going on in Camp Wood, is it? Nope, no, but the town's changed a whole heck of a lot since I was a kid growing up. Oh, well, you, you've got people buying property in there. Uh, I, people I, moving in there with riffraff and all kinds of stuff. Yep. So, yeah, it's just not the same. Well, things are always changing. Unfortunately, sometimes they're not changing for the better. Uh, yeah. You're so right. Yeah. So right. Yeah, the life you and I, well, I lived, I'm 75, but the life I lived is gone forever. Yeah. I grew up on a little old farm in Kennedy, Texas, and simple as everything. Yes, and you knew everybody. Oh, yeah, and you'd sit out on the front porch and talk, and, yeah. and the only way you got information was talk to somebody. And uh, now, hell, it's we know more about what's going on in Kenya, Africa, than we do next door. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, we were always entertained outside doing stuff when it yep. was Oh, yeah. Well, we didn't even have a TV till I was 12 years old. They had one, had two channels. <laughs> had Bonanza on it, oh, had boy. Valley, and Wagon Train. And you look forward to that, I bet. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we did too. And the, and the old TVs. They had snow on them. You, know, you, you had somebody had to turn the antenna so you could. Black and white. Yeah. <laughs> and they weighed about a hundred pounds. Yes, they did. Little old bitty screens. Yep. Yep. That's something. That's a long time ago. Can't go back, can long we? Long time ago, and to tell people about it, you did what? I said, yeah. Oh, we, Ex we, 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 people weren't getting into trouble. Looking and, for trouble. And, and no cell phones. That's right. No cell phones at all. No Man, I'm telling you. Well, I wish you luck in the. Well, thank you. Do y'all you win? They win money. Is it? Is they it so much? Money. We win money, and like today, there's a potential to win a saddle. <clears throat> so, and then uh, we have year-end awards that are, are really nice. Okay. Yeah, well, a total of uh, eleven shows. 11, well, uh, with this organization. Yeah. Well, do you get points? Yes. As you, you okay. Get points the, yeah. Okay. In the age groups or the D or whatever. Right. Uh oh. That, that was a, that. 
That was the other team. <laughs> they're, they're talking to each other. Yes. Well, enjoy your day. Good luck. Thank you. You too. Keep your health. Well, on we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good life. And just get out and live it. Because it ain't going to come to you. Adios, amigos. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Walk. Keep your health. Enjoy your life. There's life all around you if you just get out and look for it. Adios. Bye bye.